Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining Starboard Consulting Maximo Tech Tips. I'm going to just share my screen a minute as we get started here today and talk to you about Maximo Tech Tips on our Tuesday. So my name is Pam Denny, and I'm going to talk today about Cognos Analytics. So let's start by looking at our calendar today, as soon as I get my navigation in place. Thanks. So for our calendar, on every Tuesday in October, Starboard Consulting is going to take 10 minutes and talk about analytics. Last week, we talked about an overview. Today, I'm going to talk about Cognos Analytics. And next week, we'll talk about ad hoc reporting. It's really important to note that we realize we cannot cover any of these topics in 10 minutes or less. However, we're all overwhelmed with meetings and webinars. So let's just take 10 minutes, talk about a tip or two on each one of these topics, or maybe refresh our memories. <clears throat> so as we get started today, let me show you the list tab of work order tracking. We showed this screen last week and we highlighted how many of you may have seen this screen 50, 100, 500 times. And then we talked about all the different analytic tools that Maximo provides, different Maximo users we have, and the importance of matching those users to the correct analytic tool for the best possible experience. One of the tools that we talked about last week was Cognos Analytics. Maximo has been entitling its clients to Cognos Analytics for over 10 years. But the recent releases of Cognos Analytics or Cognos 11 is a game changer. It's a game changer because for the first time you can use Cognos without being a developer, without having developer skill sets, and you can create fabulous visualizations and dashboards. But how do you get started with Cognos Analytics? Well, today we want to share three steps to getting started with Maximo and Cognos Analytics. Many of you may want to explore Cognos Analytics, but it might be difficult to have the time or the resources to set up a Cognos server. And once a Cognos server is set up, how do you integrate it with Maximo? So what we'd like to offer today instead is an option for you to get your own instance of Cognos Analytics free on the cloud for a trial period and then explore some Maximo data in that. So how do you do it? Well, the first thing you need to do is get a free Cognos account. You can either Google Cognos Analytics to get the URL, URL excuse me, or access the URL shown here. Once you have your free Cognos account, then you can start bringing your Maximo data in there. Well, how do you do that? So in Maximo, there's so many different ways that we can export data to CSV and XLS. Those are the formats that Cognos can quickly consume. So you could do a list tab export, a result set, create a QBR and export some data, a report, Use application exporting and even the data set designer. Use any one of those mechanisms to take that fabulous Maximo data you have, put it in a CSV or XLS format, and once you do that, that's your third step. You want to take that data and explore it in Cognos. Three quick steps to get started. Well, let me show you in a recording that we have here how easy this is to do. So again, what we're gonna do is open up our free Cognos Analytics account. See the start for free buttons on the left or right hand side, and that'll give you access for 30 days. Then come over to Maximo and export some of your data. You could do a list tab download. You could create a QBR report and export some data. Here's the data I created from a QBR report, and then just take that and export it to CSV. Or how about the data set designer? Fabulous new functionality where, again, we can take a data set and put it in CSV format. And that's what I've done here. I have a data set called Bedford Work Orders, and I've got a couple of work order fields that you're all familiar with. 
But let's take those and bring them over to Cognos. So again, this is my free Cognos Cloud instance. I have a number of tiles that represent different data sets. I can look at those in different views. And on the left-hand side, you'll see your menu. Your menu where you can access all the different features and functionality. But what we're going to focus on is bringing over that Maximo data set here into Cognos. A simple plus, bring it in just like we bring in data all the time into various programs. Now I have my new tile. And now we want to start exploring. I simply access the action menu and say, create a dashboard. Cognos gives me a number of different formats to start with. Let's start really simple and create a dashboard, which is simply a visualization. Right when this opens up, you'll see on the right hand side is my palette. This is where I'm going to create my dashboard. And on the right hand side, this is my data set that same data set that I had from Maximo that I exported. Well, let's create something fabulous. Here's my menu on the far left-hand side. You can see all the features and functionality, but we're just gonna focus on our visualizations today with our tips. I'm gonna grab a column chart to get started. Let's see what we can do to transform that Maximo data from our rows and columns to something we can quickly consume. So I simply take my work order field, drag it and drop it into whatever X or Y access I may need. Let's grab my work orders by work type. And now immediately I have transformed my data so I can start to see by my various Maximo work types what my work order count looks like. Where am I spending most of my work? Well, I can see is immediately I resize my chart here Wow, I've got a lot of PM work orders and CM work orders, but what the heck's going on with my data quality? Because I also have a lot of work orders that have no value. So something's interesting with this data set that I might want to evaluate in more detail. That's a really quick visualization. Well, let's create some that are a little bit more in depth and I'll use a different template that Cognos provides. I'm gonna select this one, which enables me to put five different visualizations on. And again, I'll bring up my different types. And I always like a, a summary visualization. I really wanna understand what is in this data set. Well, I'm simply gonna drag and drop my work order count. So look at this. All of a sudden I've got about 1500 work orders in my data set, not bad. Let me do the same thing with a different data attribute in Maximo. In this case, I'll bring over my work priority and look what happens. I bring over work priority and Cognos sees it as a number, so it sums it up. Well, I know that's not right. Cognos doesn't really recognize Maximo, so I need to change my summarization for my priority and let's make it an average. Uh, that makes more sense. 1500 work orders, 3.4 priority. Let's add a different type of visualization here to show you all the features. Let's bring over a word cloud and let's start to look at Maximo data by the text. And now what we're gonna do is let's bring over our problem code. Let's see what happens when we do that. What are our common problem codes? Not much exciting there is really popping out. Let me just quickly bring over failure class so you can see how that refreshes. Pretty nice, really intuitive. Let me bring over a different visualization now. In this case, I'll bring over stacked column. I love column charts. And now in this case, I wanna use some of my different attributes. I'm gonna grab my different actual labor and material and our tool costs. Now I could have brought over service costs, but I didn't have those in my data set. So these'll help me get started. And let's grab work type. Where are our costs coming from in this data set? I can see again how quickly this refreshes. My labor is the blue, so I can see that that's the majority of mine uh, cost. Now I'll bring my last visualization in, which is a heat map, my absolute favorite visualization of all time. Let's grab our actual labor cost, because I want to look at my heat value. I want to see what is causing those areas of concern. Let's bring over problem code and work type. See how easy this is? Simply drag and drop to populate the fields. 
And now I've got this great visualization. Let's full screen this so we can see exactly what we're looking at with our 1500 work orders. See how your eyes are immediately drawn to that heat map for corrective maintenance work down there? Wow, wonder what's going on. Those are my stacked columns. But now let's look and see how fun this is when I start to drill down into any one of those. I select my corrective maintenance and my dashboard automatically refreshes. So I can immediately understand, immediately consume the data that Maximo is presenting to me. This is a very fabulous visualization, again, that I'm able to create in just a few minutes. And look how dynamic that is. So as I go ahead, the last thing I want to do is I always want to make sure I save this great visualization, go ahead and give it a name. I can store it under my content. I'm not quite ready to share it with others. So I'll give it a quick name of demo and share. So that's how quick and easy it is to start with Cognos Analytics, export your Maximo data, and then bring it over here into Cognos Analytics to start exploring. It's really, really fun and easy. So as I conclude today's session, again, we highlighted three quick steps to get started with Maximo and Cognos Analytics. Open up that free account, export some Maximo data in a CSV or XLS format that Cognos can quickly consume and then start exploring and analyzing it in Cognos. This is today's session from Starboard Consulting. Starboard Consulting hopes you have enjoyed the session and we encourage you to also come back next week where we talk about ad hoc reporting. My name is Pam Denny and again, hope you have enjoyed it and please feel free to stay on and we can answer any questions that you might have on chat today. Thank you all so much and have a great day. So I'll just stop here and see if there's any questions on the chat. If I can navigate back there. Looks like there's no questions. So thank you all so much. I hope you all have a great, great day. Take care.